Hey everybody, we are here on Microtech with the beautiful weather and nice lighting. Uh, this time we're going to keep our wheels on the ground and we're going to be looking at the Anvil Ballista. Uh, this is not a ship, it's more of a tonk, tank. It'll uh, blow things up with its many missiles and I think it's actually got two torpedoes too. Uh, and it's got some guns, a couple seats. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, like I said, missiles. But yeah, let's take a look here. As you can see, it is a fairly simple little vehicle platform. You got a driver who can drive it around and also control a remote turret on top. Uh, I think there's actually two turrets maybe not because I only see the one no wait wait I think I think if I look hard enough and look on top towards the back I'll see another set of guns but yeah it's got some uh, personal defense weapons for keeping uh, other things off of it and then it can be used for surface to air Go ahead, hop on in here. Yeah. So, not a whole lot of space in here. As you can see up there, that's where the driver sits. And then we got a couple of uh, gun racks. I think those are little storage areas. There's the, uh, pretty much the gunner seat. The passenger, the, uh, the other guy's seat. The guy who does a little shooting. <laughs> While the driver drives around, keep you alive. I'll go ahead and hop in this driver's seat here. This is the view we get. And as you can see, you do have control of a couple of scorpions. And they can be set for a head look too, so making it so that as you look around with your head, well, your in-game head, uh, the guns will actually follow that where you're looking. And you'll see the targeting reticle actually move with that. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at that Urkel. Here we are. So it did only have the one remote gun. So, yeah. Size 4 remote on top with two scorpions on it. Ballistic Gatlings. They'll uh, melt things pretty quick. They're size 2s themselves. Uh, remote rear is the Ballista 545s. Those are size 5s. Uh, well, that's the launcher on the Ballista. The missiles in there are size 5 scimitars. And they will melt things as well. And there's two of them. Then there's also two 717s holding size 7 Hellions. Th these will vaporize things. And then for the shields, we've got a size 0 pin, well, a couple of size 0 pins, and power plant size 0 Radix, and the cooler is a size 0 Frost Star SL, which, you, if you'll notice, uh, looking through all the ground vehicles, a lot of them have the same uh, inner components as those. <laughs> Anyhow, cost 364,500 AUEC at New Deal or Astro Armada in Lorville or A Area 18, respectively. And that is all. Alright, let's go ahead and bring it to a stop real quick, and we'll go ahead and take a look at what it's like from the view of the remote turret itself. Once I finally switch views. Okay. Lighting did something weird there. No, you don't need to move. You need to change views. There you go. Well, you didn't need scan mode. <laughs> there you go. Just, just do it that way. 
Yeah. Alright, so. Get a nice little look around. It's got a pretty good range upwards. Um, depression on the sides is much better than, obviously, the depression on the front and rear. Although, I think the depression on the front's not bad either. We're not going to be taking any test shots. We're still too close to my, uh, to, uh, New Babbage there. Uh, you can see all the MFDs are pretty, they're pretty good. Um, especially if you use, like, a sort of a head look when you play, like, if you're using Toby Eyeglass or one of those things, this can be a really nice little setup for you. Of course, you're not going to be using this very often unless you're in something very specific. But if you do find yourself in an organization that goes to, to war with other organizations for like literally no reason right now, this is a fun little, uh, fun little guy to own. They're going to find you to be kind of valuable. You got some pretty big missiles on here. Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, it's a fun little, uh, fun little guy to drive around. All them wheels, even though it does get stuck pretty easily, as you can see here. But, if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, come back for more. Uh, we usually cover ships, but we do got a couple of ground vehicles to get through. This was one of them. <laughs> Deuces.